Hello, uh, coming to you from Magnus and Anna's place in Malmö. We left Shrivarp this morning, uh, had a couple errands to run. We stopped by this amazing ranch farm. I'm not sure if they had animals or what constitutes it, but essentially it was the most beautiful piece of land. This man is, uh, he sold it and he had some things he wanted to sell. So he sold, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, like a bathroom cabinet, but without a sink. So it's essentially like a countertop that you can put things that's going to go out in the cottage where I've been staying out at the country house. And also something for their garage. Then we got into Mama and stopped and met up with... It seemed like some sort of strange, I don't know, back, ro back, wo back room sort of deal where you meet someone on the street and buy something from them. But essentially, Magnus bought a drill from a guy who had posted online that he was selling it. So we did that. And then we met up with Anna's brother and his family, Simi, um, Marcus, and Isaac, and out at the beach. And it was beautiful. Then we left them there for a little while. Then we went and had lunch and the restaurant agreed to let me have. <laughs> so one of my favorite things here in Sweden are the sausages. I think I've mentioned that. So it's referred to as korv. Well, they have these things called prinskorv, which are little. So it's like, I mean, they don't call it king korv, but essentially like the full size sausages. And then the little ones are called prinskorv. Tastes a little bit different than the bigger ones. It's not just a size thing. There's something about the way they make it. Anyways, the only thing Corv related that was on the menu were Prince Corv, but it was on the kids' menu. <laughs> and so Anna went and asked the head chef manager guy uh, if there was a way to get an adult <laughs> version of the Prince Corv meal. And so they accommodated me because they were kind. They made a joke about how if I had been Canadian, they wouldn't have done it, but because I'm American, it was okay, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, so we had just had a wonderful lunch. The food was so good. Then we walked a ways around this little mini harbor area, and then we met Anna's uh, brother's family again at an ice cream shop, had ice cream with them. And then they took off for a bike ride, and we headed back to the house. I had to ship another package home because I did mention before I did some shopping and uh, just to have some new clothes because I'm so sick and tired of wearing the same things all the time. And so we uh, went to the post office and grocery store to ship uh, back a box back home. And I had up to a five kilo uh, limit on this box that I bought. <laughs> And the clothing I was going to send back did not come anywhere near that. It was under three kilos. So I thought, well, what do I buy and ship home? So I bought a whole bunch of my favorite Swedish candies. So essentially almost two kilos <laughs> of Swedish candy to get almost up to five. I think it was 4.88 kilos uh, total between the clothes and the candy to ship back and uh, ship that. It was a lot cheaper than the shipping from Switzerland, but it was a bigger box, which I think weighed more. So I'm not sure um, why shipping would be so much cheaper from here, but it is still expensive, no, <laughs> but not as expensive. Um, so did that and then came back to the house and Magnus was feeling kind of tired, but really, uh, actually Magnus was feeling kind of tired. So he rested while Anna and I went and ran that errand. And when we got back, he'd had about an hour and a half to get a nap. And when we got back, they are working on their backyard slash garden patio area. They cleared everything out and they're laying down uh, dirt and rock and going to put in a back porch-ish kind of thing. Hard to describe. But anyways, long story short, they have about six tons of rock and gravel in front of their house that needed to be moved back to the backyard. And so Magnus and I decided that we would work on that. So I helped him move quite a bit. We didn't finish. Um, and his brother and his family got to the house after we, I mean, we did, we did most, I mean, a lot of it. And then they got there and uh, we were all gonna go to the pizza place not far away for dinner. 
So everybody was getting cleaned up and uh, situated for dinner and such. Magnus and I took off to go have beers. We felt like we'd earned it. <laughs> so we went and had a beer while everybody else was getting cleaned up. And then they all met us and we had a lovely dinner and then came back. And I just love these boys. They're just so sweet. Isak is 12 and Marcus is 10. And they are, their mom's German, their dad's Swedish. But in Sweden, you also learn English starting at about kindergarten. So these sweet boys speak English, German, and Swedish. And uh, they're just brilliant and they're so sweet and not perfectly fluent, but enough to get by and just very kind. And I think they really enjoyed speaking English with me. And uh, Marcus wanted to show me a video. It's called LOL. It's a bunch of comedians get in a room and try to make each other laugh. Swedish show. And it was really funny. So we did that before he had to go take off and go to bed. But just uh, like connecting with kiddos. Any of you guys who know me know that every time I get around kiddos, they just... I'm like a giant kiddo. I eat kids meals and live for candy and like to play. And so kiddos just seem to have that sort of radar <laughs> and become my new, new, new little bestie. So it turns out the word for, for friend in Swedish is ven, but the word for buddy is kompis. And so, um, Marcus called me his kompis. So it was very sweet of him <laughs> to call me buddy. And I uh, just had a really nice day. So I take the train tomorrow to head up to Ringsur with my cousin, or not my cousin, uh, with my aunt and uncle. And my cousin's boys are up there, Morris and Max. And then my Aunt Maria and her husband Janne from Gothenburg are coming up. And I've heard a rumor that maybe some of the other cousins are also going to come up and join us up there. So I'll get to see more family, which will be amazing. Um... I did end up canceling my Oslo portion of the trip. I'm going to stay in Sweden for three extra days and then fly over to Bergen on the 25th. So I get 10 full more days in Sweden with my family, which I'm really happy about. So, really good day. Okay, we have left the country house. And we are driving back to Malmö, but on our way, we are stopping to, I think Magnus and Anna are purchasing something that a man listed online. And so we are at his house to pick it up. And it is just so gorgeous here. This house is so cool. And these beautiful fields. It's so quiet and peaceful and amazing. Summers in Sweden? Maybe? All right, so we've completed all of our eBay and online shopping adventures for the day. And now we are at a beautiful park right on the coast to meet Anna's brother and partner and their two children. Maybe grab some lunch. And it's a lovely place to be.
okay since I did this in Switzerland and Austria. I feel like I have to do it here too. Okay, feet in the water in Malmo, Sweden. Pretty water here too. Okay, so I just had an amazing lunch where the restaurant agreed to let me order off the kids' menu. So that was incredible. And Anna and Magnus thoroughly enjoyed their delicious lunch as well. And now we are gonna get ice cream uh, with Anna's brother and sister-in-law and the kids. And I'm gonna say their names just so I don't forget them. Um, there's Simi, Isak, Marcus. Okay, I didn't get a full before shot. This is the pile of rock that we're trying to move into the backyard. We've already done four wheelbarrows full, Magnus and I. It doesn't look like we've made much progress, but my outfit is fabulous. I'll take a selfie so you can see. Mr. Okay, Annika, tell us what you're up to. You've got the right t-shirt on. Uh, I do, I do, wearing Max's clothes to do some work here. Uh, we need to fit cars here, so we gotta get rid of this pound of dirt or pound, pile of dirt, so that we can get two cars in this driveway. Yeah, is it two, two, maybe three tons? Three tons of rocks <laughs> needing to go to the backyard. Good times.